guys welcome back to the channel so um this video is just going to be um showing you some organite um there's some new additions that i'm just going to go ahead and show you and um yeah you'll get to see what we've actually got on hand right now so wearing my organite pendant uh, i love this i never take it off but um as you can see i am dressed in my work gear this is what i wear to work and um i'm on i was on call today but i don't think i'm going in to work today so sometimes i'm on like I'm rostered on and some days I'm on call but I don't think I'm going in today so I'll show you some organite. Now I'll show you what we've got on hands and I'll show point out the new additions but um, outside as well I've got some organite that's uh, drying in the sun that's fresh out the mold and now uh, you'll get to see what they're like fresh out the mold and then the work I've got to do to get them to this state so um, yeah, a few different designs outside, so just hang around till more towards the end, and um, yeah, we get to see some new stuff. Anyway, so new additions. This one here, this charge plate. We've got this pyramid that A did, so I'll run you through that and what that's about. We've got this one back here, and um, we've actually pulled some things back from the shop. For example, we've got this little charge plate here back. It's got carnelian in it. Um, yeah, and um, a few pendants as well and tower busters like this one here for example um this one here's nice i don't even know if i could re like replicate that because this is pretty sweet how that's laid so it's a very unique one it's probably the only one that's probably going to be like this one but um yeah it's a beautiful piece now that price there that's the shop price so they had to charge a commission you know put a commission on it or whatever and uh, bump the price up but that's this is um 65 dollars from us um yeah so you get to see what we got you know there's, sorry there's cords all over them but um you know nice little pieces really good um so all these tower busters up here and um we've got some heart shaped tower busters like this here for example in case you don't like the shape of you know the round ones there you got things like that um but yeah nice chakra um pendants Things like that, you know, with the appropriate stone for the colour of that chakra. And uh, this one here is nice. I like this. We uh, pulled this one from the shop. You know, you got heme tight. You've actually got amethyst in it. Heme tight amethyst. But, um, you know, it's alternating going around there. It's a little bit hard to see the amethyst. But in person, it's uh, a little bit different. And uh, there's obviously um, selenite in there as well. Um, that's probably some selenite sticking out right there. But, um, you know, you can't feel that as, you know, it's been all polished down polished up um that there's the shop's price as well like i said pull this from the shop so these are actually 65 dollars for this regular size pendant small ones are 55 now the ones we pulled are the ones that all have uh the bail on it that that silvery thing that's how we used to do it so this is like some of the original stuff once again these are actually 55 so ignore that but um yeah you got all these metal shavings on the base and it's got uh, aluminium powder in there and uh, all the right stuff to make it work, to give you the benefits of this orgone life force energy, this healing energy. Uh, ignore the prices. But, um, yeah, you know, we pulled some things from the shop because she didn't want, she thought there was uh, too many um, things that kind of look the same. And, you know, she's right. But, yeah, it doesn't matter. There's still some things in the shop. And, um, you know, that's more for us to have on hand for you guys in case you want to buy it. So... This here, new charge plate, this wasn't in the shop. This is actually just a new um, one that I've made. So, um, yeah, you got Tiger's Eye, you got Heme's Hot in it, big selenite, you know, crushed up quartz and selenite in there. In a, you know, iron oxide, uh, shungite powder matrix in the mix. Good stuff, got a bigger size here. So, we got mini coasters, mini charge plates, whatever you want to call them. All right, so we've got these middle ones, and then we go up in size. This is our next size, then the next size, and then we've got one more size after that. That's huge, and that's over a kilo's worth of organite there. And um, right now, I'll show you this one here. So this is A's creation. So each layer, the black, is uh, your black iron oxide powder and shungite powder, and this is just put colours in there, you know, along with, um, you know, your obvious crystals like your quartz and sunlight is inside here. And, uh, yeah, so she came up with that. This one here is new. I made this one. It's more simpler. Um, black iron oxide, copper, shungite. But uh, it's quite heavy for what it is. There's lots of crystals I put in here. It's heavier for, you know, than the normal size that we do. Like for this size, normally it wouldn't quite be that heavy. But, 
you know, I decided to add a lot more stuff in it. Um, and yeah, this one here is new as well. No one's seen this. Red iron oxide and black iron oxide shungi at the back. But uh, this one's actually gone away with an order, so someone's purchased this. And um, yeah, you know, if you like something, I could probably replicate something like that because that's easy. That's stuff we have on hand. But uh, right now, I'm going to take you outside and give you a quick look at what's new out there, what's baking in the sun, charging up and drying. And uh, you get to see what they look like fresh out of the mold. They don't look nowhere near as smooth as this and as clean and as polished. All right, so I'll pause this and we'll go outside and take a look. All right, so guys, looking down here, we've got three new pyramids. So I'll run you through them all and... Uh, yeah, just show you fresh out of the mold. This is what they look like. You can see there's uh, a few imperfections, like things like the edges there. You can see that. Um, and yeah, it's just like sort of scratching or marks all over them as well. If I can show you, you know. Yeah, right in there in the clear, there's like scratches, marks and things like that. I'll clean them all up, you know. And not only that... There's, um, the edges here are quite sharp and very fragile. You've got to be very careful. This is In this state, you've got to be very careful. And people who actually make these will actually know that as well. You've got to clean these up. You've got to make them so they're not so sharp uh, for you to, you know, so they just don't break on you. But anyway, so all well, this one here, I didn't talk to you about it, but decent size clear quartz in there, copper wire wrapped. Um, selenite, the black there, there's four black stones of your... Um, um, your black tourmaline, there's a uh, hematite in the corners as well, in each corner. And uh, yeah, basic, but very strong sort of pyramid, you know. Black iron oxide and shungite powder, various crystals also been added in there. And um, yeah, baking in the sun um, for really charging. It shouldn't need charging due to the fact it's got selenite in it. But um, I put them out in the sun anyway, because as they dry and cure, uh, curing or whatever you'd call it, um, you know, the sun frequency as well is embedded within it as um the, the organic matter actually really accumulates and um the sun's energy and holds it and store organic matter um holds and stores um that energy anyway so moving on you've got this one here so a nice piece you've got a nice piece of uh, amethyst right at the tip tesla coil there pulled out you've got a nice terminated piece of amethyst in there surrounded by little um, amethyst selenite now you've got um, <laughs> aluminium powder, a nice colour, and then you've got black iron oxide and shungite powder. So, And once again, within there, there's extra selenite and quartz all being added within in all this mixture in, in here, down the base. Um, and yeah, it's a beautiful piece. So these here had the upside down treatment. You can see this one here is upside down. So the upside down layer, because that there's the last to dry, so that's absorbed that way. And once they're dry enough, I flip them over so you know the face the top of it gets the sun as well um yeah now this one here's a different story i'll get it but you can see um this one here was the last one to draw the last one to make but now it should be pretty good yeah, it's not tacky anymore and um all right so what happened with this one you can see how the blacks all leaked all over it okay now the reason being is that this here I must have put too used too much hardener when I was making it because it ended up cracking. Now I thought it was a good idea to pour some black iron oxide powder through there so it's like where it was cracking you'd just see like a black crack. I thought that'd look pretty cool, but when I went to pour it, it actually um, was starting to come away from the mold already and it leaked right down through everything, and that's why it's completely covered. Um, yeah, so this is going to take me quite a long time to. Um, rub back sand back and fix but um yeah it is what it is and it's just a mistake but um out of the three here that i've shown you this one here was the one i wanted to see the most this one here you can see there's another tesla coil in there so you've got your coil wrapped around your quartz but then there's another tesla coil down there um the sunlight on the walls here on each corner going up the walls a bit different i've never done that before i wanted to see how that turned out if you can see it's hard to see but yeah, I will fix this, and I will get it ready, and uh, we'll see the end result. But that one should be a nice piece, as well as these here are beauties as well. Now, in addition, as well, we're going to show you some other stuff. Check them out. So, these here are the pendants that we've made. Actually, A made all of these. 
these ones, and I actually did uh, these ones here. Okay, so just new stuff. You know, this one here is a nice uh, chakra piece. You know, and this is how they come out. You can see how that leaks, and it goes all around there. You know, that's not cool. I've got to rub that back and uh, fix that. Nice chakra pieces with the right colour. Uh, chakra symbol with the right colour. This one here is her favourite. She likes this little butterfly. And when they're all cleaned up, they're going to look a million bucks. You know, they're going to look so sick, so cool. And, uh, you know, who wouldn't want this nice little butterfly? You know? It's epic stuff, epic. Um, you know, these ones here, pink. Nice flower in there. Same with this one. Well, green, but, you know, nice flower. And you got this one here. This one's a chakra one as well. Okay. Now, the ones I did. Just simple. Very simple little butterfly. Now, there's other crap on here, like this from grass, where I had it upside down, drying on the grass. Um, but, yeah, that there, we've got some of these tree of lice. One of these is already sold. i just got to clean them right up. But one of these ones is sold. We've got this one here with a cross in it. So if any of you guys want the other one, just uh, say. You can even comment um, in the description below saying that you want one of these Tree of Life ones. And then as well in doing that, go ahead and email as well. Email us, which will also be in the description. Um, yeah, nice little cross in there, you know, Christian cross. Um, put the red jasper in there to symbolise, you know, the blood of Christ. As well, it's got hematite in there. That'll be nice. And... Um, this one here is full of actually uh, rose quartz. There's rose quartz in the center, um, a few pieces around this side and up here. And um, yeah, that's the way it's going to sit like that. It's kind of hard to see maybe the rose quartz because the sun's quite bright. But um, yeah, this will be a nice piece. You get black on oxide chunk of powder at the back. <laughs> but yeah, guys, check them out. So when these are all done, uh, they'll be quite fantastic. And, um, yeah, the pyramids look amazing as well. And um, this is me. And this is it, the end of the video. Um, so you get a taste or you get to see um, what we've actually got on hand now. There's a few people that have ordered, well, gone to order stuff, but, um, you know, haven't gone through with payment. So they say they want it and they, you know, they say, you know, they yeah, they just say they want it. So we hold it and we tell people that it's sold. But in fact, there's some pieces in there that... um. I've not been sold yet, that we have now, but now you've got a, a visual of what we actually got. And if you like any of the new pieces that need to be done, just say so, and um, we'll clean them up for you and send it, once we receive payment, of course. But um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day.